You better send it. What is this that I'm sending it on? Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? So starting the vlog off today, we are here at the George R. Brown Convention Center in downtown Houston. We wanted to get in. We helped out yesterday and that was amazing, but I wanted to get into a shelter um, and see what it would be like actually firsthand being here. And I want to try to talk to some of the people who have been displaced, some of the people who are looking for places to go, some of the people who are here temporarily, um, and some of the people who are accepting this housing from this amazing shelter. So we're gonna see um, if we can talk to some people and just see what it's like in there. Just like this whole trip, I have no idea what to expect. I have no idea really what the vibe is gonna be, but I wanna talk to some of the amazing people in Houston who've been displaced from their homes and see you know, what the what the vibe is, how are they feeling, and that's kind of overall what, what it's gonna be like. So we're here and let's go inside and see. All these people have lost all their homes and pets and loved ones. <laughs> and people don't understand what it's really like. People don't understand what it's really like. <laughs> it's the most horrible thing you could ever go through in your whole life. I just want everybody to see like what what it really is out here because people don't show stuff like like the way it is. People don't understand. It's so bad, bro. It's so bad. I can't be in here anymore. Yeah, so guys, I was just like walking around inside of like where everyone was sleeping on like the cafeteria area where they were eating. And I like wanted to try to do interviews or just like ask people how they felt and like try to talk to people. But once I got in there, everyone is so displaced and it just really felt wrong to even approach anyone with a camera and like I felt really uncomfortable even being in there with a camera. I talked to some people off camera but this just added a whole new level of like realism to everything. Like seeing actually, it's like one thing to see empty houses and flooded houses and then it's a whole nother thing to see the people who should be living in those houses. Um, that to me is really crazy. Uh, it all became really real. Like once you saw all the actual people who've been displaced from their houses. So I'm like, sorry, I'm not gonna get any interviews or anything. Like maybe if some people come up to me, I might bust the camera out. But like right now, it's just a very serious, somber mood um, in these shelters and. I don't know, I'll try to relay any more like, information or conversations I have with you guys, but yeah, it's just a very interesting dynamic in there and it just doesn't feel right to try to film people or ask them how they feel because you can tell that no one wants to be there, no one's in the mood for anything, so I don't know what I'll film next, but we'll see. Jake is picking fights with the kids. Cross up for 20 bucks. $20 on the line if Jake gets crossed. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh! Ooh! Uh oh, uh oh. My ankles. My ankles. Watch those ankles! Oh, oh, oh! 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 That's a $20 bill, bro. Yo, I don't have to put it in the vlog if you don't want. It looked bad. It might look bad on camera. Put it in. <laughs> put it in. My boy's out here. I'm out here, man. Yo! Dang, bro. That's what $20 looks like, harder and cash. The winnings, bro. Let me see. Let me see the 20. Oh, right man. Here, man. Harder and cash. That's fair. All is fair in love and war and basketball. Your, your camera angle probably has it. If you put a replay on it, my shoe almost came off. He almost lost the shoe. He almost did a full tire blog. Can we get a replay? Guys, we left the um, shelter and hit the road and as the waters are receding, um, everyone is cleaning out their house. So you're seeing everyone's belongings um, are literally just getting thrown out. They're all wet or, or destroyed and so there's nothing else to do with them but to throw them out and it's so sad to see. Guys, so Jake posted a photo on Instagram actually um, yesterday and it went really viral. Someone was wearing the Team 10 merch and they were getting walked out of their home. Um, they actually were able to reach out to Jake and we're here now with them, meeting them and seeing the damage that was done. So we're gonna meet everyone and see what has gotten done and this is, incre this is incredible. 
through the firemen that rescued us are inside. So, or oh. here they are. They're out Hi, here. Dad. So this water back here came into the house, I want to see her. and it said made it above down because water was I mean you can see me standing next to it almost waist high they said it was waist high so they gutted everything below it's in the process of gutting the house right now guys and now we are getting the chance to help do some demo come down there soon I'm gonna have to go swing some hammers okay 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 I'm coming I'm coming I'm coming all right I got the yellers on these are called protection safety yellers very special type of yellers we gotta swing some hammers, boy. Woo -hoo -hoo! Nothing like breaking some tile to start your Friday morning, afternoon, evening. <laughs> so before we started, this whole floor was tile. All of this was tile. We made it all the way back to right here. I'd say it's pretty good. But then Jake bailed and was like, yo, you guys want to go on jet skis? And I was like, I'm down for some jet skis. Like, there's no better way to take a break from work. We got a, a nice pond back here. I mean, I might as well send it. Jake, did you offer all these nice kids to take these jet skis I'm out? I'm going to take them on some jet ski ride. We were just working and now no now one's it's working. Time, now it's time to have fun, though. Now it's time to have fun. Okay, that's fair. Guys, one, two, three. That's killer. That's like a family that's photo. That's awesome. That could be a Christmas Dude, that's card. that's great. <laughs> that will be our Christmas card. Yeah. <laughs> Thomas. Hey. I, I, if here's that. He took over my you blog. You a new vlogger. Yeah. I think you can just have if your you channel at this point. At this point. Archie. You know what? I've done it long enough. You can have it. Yeah. Two Give years up, in. Thomas. I'm good. Looks like Archie. some good shots you're getting over here. Are you guys peer pressuring me into doing this right yeah. now? Yeah. Okay. Send it. Oh, you better send it. Well, is this send what I'm sending it on? Yeah. This is for my bike. My bike. There's no brakes. There's no brakes. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. No brakes. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's go, Uncle hey, Kane. Go, 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 that's Dude, I'm flipping. Set that. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a couple feet short. Let's go. Put the ground is off. <laughs> this is what happens when I get peer pressure to send it. I just send it and I slam. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. See you later. Bye. All right guys, just got back home and showered. Again, today's vlog is very jumpy and I will refer to the same thing I have in the past two days is that the priority was not filming, the priority was helping and doing as much as we could. So uh, we're gonna have to deal with the lack of cinematic sequences and all of that, blah, 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 blah. Again, not the focus. Today was cool for a few reasons. First off being, it's a totally different perspective when you get to the shelters. It's one thing being there and seeing the homes and all of that, and I know I said this earlier, but really reflecting on it now, it's so much more different when you're there seeing everyone, seeing how everyone is displaced, seeing, <clears throat> not even seeing feeling, just the atmosphere, the vibe in there is just, it's so heavy. It's a very, very heavy environment. And like I said, I wanted to do interviews and stuff, but it just, I didn't feel right. I really didn't feel right. I just got a really heavy heart when I went in there to see that um, everyone's belongings under a cot and that's it was it it was like a bed and then a few duffel bags and that was all they had some of them only had red cross blankets like they didn't even have their own blankets and pillows so that was just a really heavy thing for me to experience today um, and I'm glad I did so I got to see both sides of it and it's very eye-opening just to even be there and then getting to go to ace and sevy's house and you know see a house that was damaged but the waters had gone down seeing what was being done to homes that were in the repair phases and actually getting to help do that repair um was just so much fun like it was just so cool to see the sense of community and everyone coming together and everyone wanting to help everyone that to me was really really cool there was so much selflessness 
Um, everyone was so willing to give, so willing to help, and it's just very heartwarming to even be a part of. Their family is beautiful, um, and I thank them for letting us in their home with our vlog cameras running around being whatever. That was truly amazing. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, no matter if this is your first vlog or your 33rd vlog, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you just the same. You guys are truly amazing. I appreciate you for rocking with me. That means the world. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like and definitely comment below. Commenting is how I know what to do more of, less of, or totally different. I don't know. And I'll only know that if you guys comment. So comment below. I'm always reading all of those. That's the feedback. That means a lot to me. Um, I'm seeing that and taking that in and trying to work on that for you guys. Because like I said, it's very important and means a lot to me. Guys, do not forget about this fire right here also. Like don't, just because I haven't worn it in the last few vlogs does not mean that it's not still fired. The sweatshirts are on the website, the t-shirt, and the long sleeve like I'm wearing right now. With your play buttons. Do not forget about the merch. The link is in the description, as always. Um, so check some of that out. Like I said, I didn't forget about the BMW winners. Those are coming when I get back to Los Angeles. Stay tuned. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for rocking with me. Be sure to subscribe because it's only getting better, guys. Peace.